Shalom and welcome to Two Minutes of Torah. This year is entitled Pashas Truma, Building of the Mishkan. The uh, Mishkan consisted of a lot of wood, and the question is, where did the wood come from? Rabbi Tanchuma answers that Yaakov already brought it, the seeds down to Egypt, and that was the first thing he did when he arrived in Egypt. He planted the trees for the cedar, the seeds of the cedar trees, so that way, when the Jews are redeemed, they'll have the trees for the midbar. The kind of Minetsky, uh, and the Yaakov says this wasn't just a practical plan, it was a psychological one as well. For the Jews not only to have the wood ready, but also psychological to know that those trees, that forest growing in Egypt, represents the future Gula, they should never forget it. Rashi, of course, quotes this Medrash, and it's very well known. Ibn Ezra says that, uh, I know the rabbis say such a thing, if it's a Kabbalah, if they have some Masora on this, then I accept it. If it's a Svar, it's his own Chiddush, so then we have to look for other ideas. And he he says that the wood uh, was from an oasis, there were trees by the uh, in the Midbar, and that's what they used. And the Abarbanel says the trees actually were from merchants, and that's where the wood comes from. So three different approaches where the wood for the Mishkan comes from. Be that as it may, they had the wood, and they're building it up, and the Truma, Tetzav, Avayakim, Kudai is all related to the building up, the preparation, and the building up of the Migdash, the Big Day Kahuna. And then, of course, we finally have the Avoda coming about, Vayik Vetzav Shmini, Prashat Shmini, Vayibiyom Shmini, that really is the crescendo where they finally arrive at the Mishkan, and it's so exciting, and then, of course, tragedy strikes. And what happens during the Avoda, Nadav and Aviyu bring an Eish Zara Shalot Tziva Hashem. The uh, commentaries are endless on this topic. What exactly happened at the beginning of the Chanukah Tabayit, all the excitement. What exactly Nadav and Aviyu did wrong. There's many opinions, but the simple Shah Shalot Tziva Hashem. With all their excitement, they did something for sure, for good motivation, to get a connection to Hashem, but Asher Lo Tziva Hashem. And that to me is a crucial, crucial lesson by the Mishkan. As where all these parshas are dealing with the Mishkan, it's important and crucial to know, yes, with the Mishkan we have, can have an incredible debate, Kut Hashem, a tremendous connection to the Eternal One, to Hashem and uh, Korbanot and everything, a different level of connection that we may not have from other mitzvot, but the connection has to come through Tzivoy Hashem. And Chas Shalom for a person to go ahead, somehow arrive to the Mishkan, the place we can connect to Hashem, and just be overtaken by those feelings of spirituality, and not be bound by Halacha, Chas Shalom. And therefore, the message is tragically clear that all the building of the Mishkan must be precise according to Halacha, and the Korbanot must be precise and according to Halacha. Every libation, everything, Kemach, Solet, Kamitza, precise, precise Halacha. And yes, once you have a precise Halacha, then you can have the singing and the dancing and the connection to Hashem and the Dveikot Bar Hashem. But you have to have both the clarity and the, and the precision, and then you can have, of course, We'll elaborate this in the next year as well. Shalom.